I've wanted to make YouTube videos for most of my life. I had a gaming channel when I was 14. Easy switch, easy switch. Yes. I was actually making money with hundreds of thousands of views. I even had a channel with my brother where we would record funny short films that we would work really hard on and we deleted literally all of those videos. For the last six years or so, I've been working really hard on my body and on fitness. I created a huge passion for it, but I never recorded videos up until a few months ago. Throughout the entire time, I always wanted to. The reason for this was specifically that I would record the clips and I would feel that I looked ugly in them. That was the one reason why I never uploaded my videos is because I genuinely just thought I looked ugly and I didn't want to post those videos. The truth is that all of my life I've held a massive ego. I've been told over the years that I'm very special, that each and every one of us is very special, but that's a load of bullshit. I'm not special, you're not special, at least not until we accomplish something great, which honestly the majority of us probably will never do, but that's okay. It's better than okay. Realizing that I'm not special has started to take the unrealistic standards that I've put onto myself. I'm not special, so I don't have to look perfect all the time. I'm not special, so my body doesn't have to look as muscular as it does after a pump all the time. If you think you're special, you always have to hold yourself so highly. And that just takes away from the good opportunities you could get in life. We'll go about life thinking that other people are thinking about us, but that's not true. Other people are just thinking about themselves the same way that we think about ourselves. We're all walking around just overthinking about ourselves. The moment you consistently start meditating and that voice inside of your head quietens down, you start actually living life. You start taking the opportunities you want to do and doing the things that you genuinely want to do with no influence of your ego. The voice in our head is our ego. It's the voice that tells us we either aren't good enough or that we're too good. It's the voice that tells us to lift heavy weight that's dangerous for us, that makes us overthink and feel like everyone is thinking about our smallest insecurities, which is not true. Everyone is thinking about their own insecurities, just as you are and I am. The belief that we're all special is causing a massive stress amongst us. Of course, I'm gonna relate this to social media. So your social media profile is just a representation of your ego. You only post the pictures that the voice in your head allows you to. So every time you post, you're pretty much just saying, hey everyone, look at me, I'm special. Here's a special moment that I want you all to see and to judge me by. And that is obviously insecurity because we're only posting the best snapshot. We're not showing people the day-to-day -day life, what we actually look like or what we actually do. It's all fake. It's all to make the voice in our head feel like we're special. We amass followers, but again, that's fake. I have a thousand followers on Instagram, but two friends in real life. Lower your ego and you would probably feel the same way. Everyone else we think are our friends are really more like acquaintances you might talk to if you're in the same area. But these acquaintances control our ego. They're the least important to us they're the ones least in our lives, but they're the ones who control it the most because we want them to be our friends. We want to be part of a big herd. It makes us feel safe and secure being part of a big social group. And that is how these social media companies manipulate us into using their platform. Otherwise you don't use it and then you experience FOMO fear of missing out. The fear of missing out and not being part of a group literally causes us to feel pain. Social media companies use this pain to make sure that you keep scrolling and posting. For the last two weeks, I've been doing a dopamine detox. I feel good. I've been heavily reducing my social media intake. I've been staying off the internet as much as possible and I've just been coming back into fitness. Especially with meditating and feeling more mindful, I feel that I've held this ego, this need to be special for my entire life and that has caused me to feel unhappy because I have set these expectations for myself. I've set this idea that I'm so special that I can do this and I can't do this. But I wanted to do this though.
For the last few months, I have been making some YouTube videos, but I was always hit with the same feelings of just feeling too special. Feeling like my videos weren't good enough for my standards or feeling that I literally just looked too ugly on camera. And it feels uncomfortable to say this right now. It feels weird to say this and then to be looking back at it soon when I'm gonna be editing and to upload a video where I keep saying that I feel like I look ugly on camera. But that is so important to admit because that is the one thing that has stopped me from doing what honestly has been probably my biggest passion in life, which has been making videos. I've been doing this since I was a teenager and all throughout life, I didn't even think about any kind of job. I even went to university, not even planning to get a job because in my mind, it was always going to be YouTube that I did, but I just never had the confidence to say that. And I never had the confidence to destroy my ego, to go past the feeling that I'm not, it doesn't matter if I look ugly on camera because people will watch you anyway. And I don't know, a lot of people say I look pretty good anyway. And so if we're not listening to the voice in our minds and we're not going on social media and doing a dopamine detox, then what should we just do with our lives? And honestly, I don't know. I could try and give you advice, but that would be the same thing of me feeling like I'm special and giving advice that I don't have the experience to give. All I can say is that I did feel like I, I found a secret gem, a secret cheat code to life in my previous video where I'll play the clip right now. Pretty much just trying to enjoy life as much as you can, knowing that it is full of problems that we have to overcome. And the most important part of life is just choosing the problems that you want to overcome. No matter what you choose, no matter what you do in life, you will experience problems and you will experience ego and you will experience negatives. And this belief that we're special has stops us from pursuing the right problems. You take away this, live a healthy lifestyle of meditation and exercise every single day. I don't know. I don't. Motherfucking no. I don't know. Just smile and laugh through every bit that you can and choose the problems that you want to choose. All right, so thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Stay around if you want to watch me do some, what am I going to do now? Let me think. Yeah, I'll try and do some more muscle ups. Stay around if you want to watch me try and do some muscle ups. These are so fun to train with. <laughs> All right, I'm out.